Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Pastor Matt. Checking out today a very cool Bible that I received yesterday from my partners and friends over there at Crossway Books and Bibles, of course, the ESV translation. We're looking this afternoon at the Illuminated Bible, the Art Journaling Edition, and of course, as previously stated, the English Standard Version. This Bible comes in an incredibly cool slip case, which we will pull it out right here uh, just to show you. I love slip cases, if, uh, if I could just say so. They are so cool, and this slip case in particular is going to be something that is going to look amazing on a bookshelf or in a den or a family living room. It just looks like something out of the late 1800s, early 1900s, a fantastic slipcase, and let's go ahead and set that aside just for a moment so we can have a look at this Bible. Now, this is a hardback edition of the Illuminated Bible Art Journaling Edition, and when we open it up, the special feature of this particular Bible is that it has all of these beautiful flourishes um, throughout the wide margin edition on this cream colored and very thick 46 GSM paper. So this is going to be a perfect addition for you to uh, study, to take notes, to do some doodlings. Um, and I have to admit, I love this Bible. And when my daughter saw it, she's 16 years old, she absolutely fell in love with it and immediately wanted to uh, take possession of it, which I, I believe I will allow her to do as a merciful and gracious father. Uh, but this is such a cool Bible, and um, if you're a note taker, you have plenty of room here. You have almost two inches in the margins to take your notes and do your doodlings. The text itself is nice. It is very clear. It is very, very readable. Uh, just laser sharp font right there. Uh, about a nine point font, if I'm not mistaken. Easily readable for even some sluggish eyes, in my opinion. Of course, uh, this is a bigger Bible. This is something that's got, it's got a little girth to it. It's not quite as big as the, uh, the ESV study Bible, but nevertheless, this is, this is a Bible that's going to take a little bit of, of carrying if you're going to try to bring it to church or to Bible study uh, with you. But the cream-colored paper being so thick is perfect for writing notes. And here's one of the things I wanted to show you, is that every single one of the books in the Bible has this beginning art piece and every single one of them is different, and every single one of them is tailored and made unique to that book by its theme. So this gets really cool. You have all these drop caps right here, uh, very artistic as well. Um, but each, each book has throughout uh, these wonderful pieces of art, and each one has a book introduction. Now, one thing that I, I thought was really cool, really, really cool, is that in the back, if we turn to to the end here, uh, there's actually a key that is provided by Crossway and by the particular artist to understanding each one of the art pieces that introduces each book of the Bible. So over here we have the book of Genesis, its opening uh, art piece, and then here's its description. Let me just read one of these to you. It says, the opening illustration depicts the act of creation and the beauty of the Garden of Eden when God first introduced plants, flowers, and every living thing into our natural world. The apple signifies the fall of man, separation from the creator, and ultimately the need for redemption. And so, as I said, each book has its own art piece. And all of these art pieces are the creative work of the artist whose name is Dana Tanamachi. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. She's the one who did all of the art. And I do, I do want to address one thing here. If you are from a Reformed or Presbyterian tradition and you're a little bit worried about Second Commandments issues here, uh, I know a lot of the evangelical world has no problem with depictions of Christ or any of the third persons of the Trinity. But some traditions do that come from the Puritans, the English Puritans, or the Scottish Presbyterians, which, by the way, would represent my own tradition as a, as a Presbyterian. I am pleased to report to you that there are no uh, what we would call Second Commandment violations or depictions of Christ. Now, for you, that may not be a big deal. For some of us, it is. For some of us, when we see a picture of Jesus, there's always just kind of a, I don't know, I guess I could say an ick factor, depending on how good or terrible, conversely, the, the artistic rendering may be. Personally, I don't like many images of Christ at all. I think most of them are um, just unusual and slightly off-putting in some ways. Even some of the best art to me, has a little bit of a factor that just causes me to want to withdraw from it um, because of that reason 
of our confessional standards in the Westminster Confession, saying that depictions of any of the three persons of the Trinity are uh, possible violations of the Second Commandment. Okay, so for you, uh, for me, either way, it doesn't matter because there's not any that I've seen depictions of uh, the persons of the Trinity in the art. Most of the art, I, if I'm honest, has to do with uh, agricultural or creation-oriented themes. Uh, they're all beautiful. They're all thematically related to the contents of that particular book. And it's all right here for you in a very beautiful uh, art gilt edged paged uh, edition. Very handsome, very sturdy. Of course, this book is sewn, so you'll have no problems with it chunking apart like a glued binding wood. And again, it just looks like something that should be in a study or a den, um, although I would have no objection whatsoever to using this as a study Bible uh, for your taking notes of sermons or your observations on Scripture. One more thing before we close up. Of course, this is a single column edition, as you've seen throughout but there is no uh, references whatsoever, nor is there even the usual textual notes that the ESV apparatus has to it. It is just text. It does have chapter and verse designations, uh, so you'll have no problem looking things up. But if you're looking for references, this Bible is not going to help you out in that regard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is what I always do. I'm going to post a link to Amazon.com where you can hop right over there right now and go get yourself the Illuminated Bible Art Journaling Edition by Crossway. Uh, by the way, the box said it was somewhere in the neighborhood of $45. I don't know what Amazon has it listed for. I guess we'll find out when we, when we hit that link. Um, but just by way of observation, my wife saw this Bible, and she thought, without having known the price, that it should be somewhere around $80, $90, bucks, something like that, just based on the quality of the paper, the binding, and the beauty of the overall edition. So... Uh, with that having been said, don't forget the link is in the description box of this video. I have plenty of other Bible reviews on my page. In fact, I have a whole playlist for Crossway ESV Bibles and Products. I so hope you'll take the time to check that out. Feel free to like this video and or subscribe. It's cool if you do. doesn't matter if you don't. Love you lots. Thanks for checking in. Talk to you later.